just as there are many ways to select objects, there are also many different ways to edit objects that are selected. Before we look at the different ways to edit, let's first look at the methods to edit. Of course you have the edit menu and when you click on edit you will see all sorts of options listed under this menu. There's also the edit toolbox on the left hand side of your screen and this houses many different icons that are used for editing. We'll cover some of these a little bit later. In the general toolbar, which is right here, you have additional icons for editing such as cut, copy, and paste. There are even methods to edit in the docker bars that you'll find over on the right hand side of your screen. One quick way to edit that is new to Software 8 is the right click context menu. And you can select part of an object. I'm holding down the Alt key to select part of this grouped object. And then I'm going to right click and it opens up an entire menu of options to edit. If you like learning shortcut keys, many of the editing functions do have a corresponding shortcut key on the keyboard. And you'll notice that these are all listed in the context menu and also in your edit menu. So this is a good way to start learning some of the shortcut keys. These are also listed in your reference manual. So you have choices when it comes to your preferred method to edit. For the Editing Basics series, you're going to learn how to resize, rotate, skew, and mirror designs. You will also learn how to change the color, the type of stitch, the angle of the stitch, how to change stitch properties, and how to add an outline. Editing colors, combining designs, copying designs, and reshaping designs will also be covered. There are all sorts of fun things to do with the designs that we have in our stash.